I don't know how I missed this back in July, but here's a robot with a brain. Chinese scientists created a robot with a lab-grown artificial brain made from human stem cells, and it can be taught to perform various tasks. This brain-on-chip tech was developed by researchers at Tianjin University and the Southern University of Science and Technology. It combines a neural interface chip and a brain organoid. It was taught to avoid obstacles and grip objects. The university says its research could lead to the development of new treatments of neurodevelopmental disorders and the development of hybrid human-robot intelligence, which is just a little bit scary. Researchers from the Public University of Navarre have developed a hologram you can hold. Traditionally, a fast-moving sheet called a diffuser was used to project the image onto, but those are rigid and you might not want to touch something moving at that speed, so the team designed an elastic diffuser you can touch without damage. They created a setup where the person places their hand through strips of the diffuser, which acts like you're manipulating the hologram you yourself. They explain some examples like grasping a cube and rotating it or simulating walking legs using the index and ring fingers. They say this can be particularly useful in museums where visitors can interact with the content. Me, I just want to touch Time Traveler. This is the latest in science news. This is Mind Blow. A self-taught snake venom expert injected himself with snake venom 856 times in 18 years and now it's led to scientists developing the most widely effective snake antivenom. Tim Freedy started collecting snakes in his youth and deliberately injecting their venom repeatedly. On one occasion, he received two cobra bites in an hour and almost died. While most of us would take that as a sign to get a new hobby, Tim persisted. He envenomed himself with the likes of Egyptian cobras, coastal taipans, and even black mambas. His cells began to produce unique antibodies, which caught the attention of Jacob Glanville, immunologist and CEO of biotech company Centivax. Using Tim's antibodies, they developed an antivenom that protected lab mice from the venom of 19 different snakes listed as category one or two of the world's deadliest snakes. But you're not Tim, so don't try this at home. It's time for tardigrade tattoos. A new technique allowed researchers to tattoo tiny patterns on the bodies of living tardigrades. This could help scientists make biocompatible devices like sensors, circuits, and even nanoscale robots. The process uses a technique called ice lithography. A beam of electrons is fired at a target to etch a pattern on the surface. This can sometimes damage or contaminate the surface, so scientists figured out that putting a thin layer of ice between the beam and the surface prevented this. They were able to etch down to smaller than 20 nanometers, and tardigrades are around 500,000 nanometers wide. Around 40% of the tardigrades survived the process. Next up, tardigrade tramp stamps. Uh... Japan is making lightning. Nippon Telegraph and Telephone Group claims to have created the first drone to induce and guide lightning strikes. They claim the drone can trigger bolts of electricity from under thunderclouds and absorb their energy while staying airborne and taking little damage. In December 2024, during a storm, the company sent up one of their drones 300 meters carrying a conductive wire. This wire attached the drone to a switch and when turned on, caused a surge of energy energy through the wire grounding the drone. This triggered and attracted a lightning strike. The NTT group claimed the drone survived, though some of its protective covering melted. And somewhere, a supervillain is smiling from their secret base. This is very cool. The Berkeley Humanoid Light is an open source, accessible, and customizable 3D printed humanoid robot. All components can be sourced from widely available e-commerce platforms and made using standard desktop 3D printers, the total hardware cost being under 5,000 bucks. They adopted a cycloid gear design that addresses the reduced strength compared to metal alternatives. The bot was seen playing with a Rubik's Cube, writing its name with a marker, walking, and playing with blocks. So if you have $5,000 and a 3D printer, you can make yourself a little friend. Say hello to Burger Bot. Burger Bots promise to deliver perfectly cooked, made-to-order burgers every time thanks to ABB 
Robotics IRB360 Flex Picker and Yumi Collaborative Robot. This groundbreaking new concept launched in Los Gatos, California. The process is hygienic, monitors stock levels, and they say it frees up staff to focus on the customer experience. As each order is received, a freshly cooked burger patty is placed onto a bun inside a burger box, put on a conveyor belt, and tagged with a QR code. As it moves along, the IRB360 Flex Picker performs high-speed topping selection according to the data in the QR code. Next, the Yumi Bot comes in on the final assembly of the burger. The entire process takes only 27 seconds per burger, and it has no feet to put on your lettuce. And now, the amazing RCA Portable TV from 1956. New from RCA Victor, handiest TV set ever built. RCA Victor Personal TV, light enough to take anywhere. Wonderful. What's that? A detachable stand. Tilts for easy viewing. How's the picture? Sharp, clear. It's RCA Victor picture quality. Where's the antenna? It's hiding here. And there's even a connection for an outside antenna if needed. Make RCA Victor's new personal TV your very own set. Keep it in your bedroom. Watch the shows you want to see. Or use it in your office. Watch important newscasts, ball games. In your kitchen, anywhere in your home.